The Weekend Game Plan. Listen live Saturdays and Sundays from 7 to 9 a.m. on TSN 690. The club isn't the best place to find a lover, so the bar is where I go. Me and my friends at the table doing shots, tripping fast, and then we talk slow. 751 TSN 690. It is weekend game plan. I'm your host, Matthew Ross. We're here till 9 o'clock. An update uh, from the French Open. Uh, Del Potro versus Murray. What a great matchup this is on the men's side. Del Potro up 5 4 right now. He's up a break in the first set. It is 40 all, and he is serving. So, Andy Murray on the ropes. Uh, not on the ropes. It's early on. You got to win three sets, certainly, to get this thing going. But. Uh, he is, oh, now Andy Murray had a chance to break here now at 5-4 for Del Potro. We'll keep you up to date with that matchup. Amanda Stein with her Sports Center updates, I'm sure, will also allude to it. But right now, let's talk some amateur sports. Weekend Game Plan gets out into the community with suburban newspaper sports editor Mark Lidbetter and the Amateur Sports Report. And of course, you can email Mark, sports at the suburban.com, if you have any items for his newspaper or for this weekly segment. How are you doing, Mark? Excellent, excellent. Nice, happy, busy day, to, day ahead. My granddaughter, Brooklyn, turns two today, so it's time to party on. Oh, wow. All right, Mark. Take it easy, though. Pace yourself, Mark. Pace yourself with these kind of parties. There you go. I'll All right, Mark. I, rush going. What I like about today's uh, items that you have for us, uh, a little bit of a, a variety. Usually it's, you know, it's a lot of hockey stuff, et cetera, but this is really what it means to be out in the community and, and a lot of interesting stuff here. So let's start with uh, a bit of a, a, a run for a good cause. Yeah, the, it's going to be a run in the fight against Alzheimer's now. This is going to be the second edition of the uh, Point Claire Half Marathon. And it's going to take place on Sunday, June 18th. But they've got a couple of hundred spots left for uh, people to participate. And what's great is the money raised from the, the event will go to the Montreal Alzheimer's Society. And it's a race for all levels with, of runners. They've got distances of 1, 2, 5, 10, and 21 kilometers. Ooh, I like that one kilometer distance, Trent do I think you and I could do that. Maybe a one kilometer distance? What do you think? In your dress shoes, Dave? Let's do it. Coming from an event, maybe? Yeah. There you go. I'll yeah. watch for you guys because it comes right through my neighborhood in ah. Point Claire. Yeah, Point Claire and, uh, Village. That's pretty cool. I like that area. Yeah, it runs along Lake St. Black St. Louis. Uh, and that's the thing, though, with the one and two kilometer distances, it's great for families because if they want to introduce their kids to it or get them a start in marathoning, those are the distances they can go for. All right, so and, what's the website? Okay, so anybody who wants to check it out and register can go to www.demimarathonpointclair.com. All right, Demi Marathon. Yeah, Demi Marathon Point Claire. Dot com. All right, uh, from uh, Marathon, let's get into the dojo. I like this. Uh, uh, some good uh, fighting and kicking going on here. Yeah, and uh, based out of Cote St. Luke, your home, t- your uh, your yeah, res- hometown, yeah, residency. Yeah, it's the uh, Cote St. Luke. Uh, Dojo has 14 members from the recent Canadian Championships that will be representing Team Canada at a World Championship event later this year in August. Wow. Yeah, uh, the, the dojo is under the uh, teachings of Sensei Stacy Unger, who's a fifth Dan mm-hmm. of the JKA discipline. And uh, those 14 students of his made the grade to join Team Canada at the next World Championships. And they'll be traveling to Limerick, Ireland for the 14th wow. Kochi International JKA Championship from August 18th to 21st. Now, so Mark, they're... just an update on that. Um, about three, my daughter is almost nine. About three yeah. years ago, I enrolled her because usually his dojo is in the uh, basement, or it was, I don't know where it is now, but of Coats and Luke Shopping Center. And, yeah. uh, and and so my daughter did about four classes and uh, and ended up quitting. So uh, that's a nice uh, karate suit that won't be worn again. So, but, you know, but, but it wasn't happened. his fault, though. No, but it happens to so many parents. You know, let's try. It. I want to try this. Yep. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I want to play. But I, I liked his style, and I, yep. I had seen him around, and and I used to uh, when when West End Jim was in that facility, I used to see him teaching his students, and so uh, good on him. Congratulations there. But uh, moving over to uh, gymnastics. Yeah, the uh, just recently they held the uh, Canadian Artistic Gymnastic Championships at the Saint Paul Robillard. And uh, a couple, few local gymnasts uh, did really well. You had Rio Olympian Rosie Kang Wu of Brossard. Uh, she took home the silver in the senior all-around discipline. 
And what was really nice is we've mentioned this young young lad uh, earlier in the season, uh, um, Mr. Dolce, Felix Dolce from Laval, of the Laval Excellence Club, won gold in four apparatus finals, also taking home one silver medal. So a uh, very good event for him. And his teammate, uh, William Imard, added four gold medals and one bronze medal this weekend. Uh, Imard won gold on floor, rings, vault, high bar, and bronze on the pommel horse. So just some excellent athletes. All right, and uh, let's wrap it off. Uh, wrap it off. Wrap it up, or finish it off. Pick one uh, with GMAA Sports. Of course, the uh, the uh, high school uh, level or various levels around the Greater Montreal area. Always uh, good competitive stuff. Yeah, you know the end of the school year is coming when they have the spring sport championships and uh, some Division One results. We have rugby boys. You had Loyola take St. Thomas forty-one fourteen. Loyola also over St. Thomas in the Midget Boys final, 43-17. And Chattagay Regional Valley, Chattagay Valley Regional High School won 38-14 over St. Thomas. Now, what's impressive, though, is looking at St. Thomas. I mean, they made three finals and three silver medals, so that's, that's a solid program. Uh, now, in the Rugby uh, Girls Juvenile final, Howard S. Billings won 36-5 against uh, the St. Thomas team. Uh, and in Midget... Westwood High School won 34-5 over Shadigui Valley Regional. Then you had some field lacrosse final. You had uh, Howard S. Billings bested Kanawaki Survival School 11-9 for the Juvenile Boys Crown. In Juvenile Girls Flag Football, crazy score. Westwood High School won 2-0 only over Cooper Midget, over Cooper. And the Midget final saw Pierrepont Comprehensive High School win 27-6 over St. Thomas. Uh... The Bantam final had Cooper winning 19-6 over St. Thomas and closing it out in touch football. The Pierrefont Comprehensive uh, Girls Juvenile Team shut out Howard S. Billings 20 nothing for their crown. All right. Well, there you go. And again, sports at the suburban.com if you want to get in touch with Mark Lidbetter for an item either for this weekly segment or for the Suburban newspapers. Thank you so much, Mark. My pleasure. Uh, You guys have a great week. We'll catch you next Saturday. The Weekend Game Plan. Listen live Saturdays and Sundays from 7 to 9 a.m. on TSN 690.